Hey everyone, I'm Jason Zwalik of the Zwala Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. For those of you tuning in for the first time, each week I tackle different real estate topics, including local market updates, all in the hopes of helping you navigate the world of home buying, selling, investing, and owning. Since the beginning of COVID, we have seen unprecedented appreciation. The median value of a detached home in Orange County is nearly $1.3 million, a mind-blowing 51% higher than the median in January of 2020. In the first half of this year, we saw a 22% appreciation in home values, but we've also seen a huge rise in interest rates this year. This combination has completely flipped the market on its head and buyers have now changed their approach to housing. Demand has taken a massive hit as buying power has dropped significantly. Despite increasing values over the past couple of years, payments for the median price detached home remained affordable due to historically low interest rates. With rates skyrocketing, payments have increased significantly. In January of 2020, the payment on the median detached home in Orange County was $3,509. At our recent rates, that payment has increased to $6,969 per month. For perspective, that is an extra $3,460 per month or $41,520 more per year for the median price detached home in September compared to the median priced detached home in January of 2020. This is one of the main reasons demand has dropped to ultra low levels and so many are worried of a crash. Affordability just isn't there. Orange County's inventory was essentially unchanged, adding only eight homes over the past two weeks. Last year, the inventory was 40% lower than today, and the three-year average prior to COVID was 76% higher. Demand dropped 9% the past couple of weeks. Last year, demand was 58% higher than today, and the three-year average prior to COVID was 42% more than today. With demand dropping faster than supply, the expected market time increased from 62 to 68 days. Last year, market time was 26 days, way faster than today. However, the three-year average prior to COVID was 86 days, a bit slower than our current market. The luxury inventory of homes priced above $2 million decreased by 1%, while luxury demand was down 14%. With demand plunging more than supply, the expected market time for luxury homes jumped from 144 to 165 days. Year over year, luxury demand is down 44% and luxury inventory is up 52%. The expected market time last year was 61 days, much stronger than today. For homes priced between two and $4 million, the expected market time in the past two weeks increased from 113 to 133 days. For homes priced between four and $8 million, the expected market time dropped from 220 to 215 days. And for homes priced above $8 million, the expected market time increased from 325 to 454 days. At 454 days, a seller will be looking at placing their home in escrow around December of 2023. Even with inventory staying unchanged, the drop in demand has caused this market to shift deeper into a neutralized market, especially when you combine it with today's unaffordability level. The buyers that are still looking in this market are not carelessly spending. They are looking at fair market value. Therefore, homes that are priced right, in good condition, and in a great location are still selling fast. If you like this video and you found it helpful, give that thumbs up a smash, and don't forget to subscribe so you're notified every time I post. If you have any questions, send them to me directly or write them down in the comments. I'm here to help in any way that I can. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.